Hi, my name is Tindai and this is As Nature Intended. Today I'm going to be talking to you about spelt flakes. Spelt flakes have been grown for over 8,000 years, making this a sturdy, hardy grain that you should be eating. This is organic, this is naturally occurring, it's not GMO. It is what you should be eating compared to your high street available options such as wheat or oats. Try and source spelt flakes or spelt grain and eat that instead of these GMO alternatives that you find in your normal stores. Um, it is a good source of calcium, selenium, vitamins B1, B6 and E. It also contains a high content of protein and zinc, making this a very good source of uh, dietary fiber compared to the options that you uh, get out there. Um, this is also a very good source of slow releasing energy which is ideal for someone like myself. I cycle a lot. I've got Ride London coming up this Sunday and I will be making myself some overnight spelt flake um, option which is uh, the option to overnight oats uh, using things like chia seeds, hemp seeds, uh, walnuts, dates uh, to sweeten and some sea moss to add another 95 minerals into my overnight spelt flakes. Let's get right into it and I'll show you exactly how I do it. Today I'm gonna to be making my version of overnight oats, but this time I'm not gonna be using oats, I'm gonna be using spelt flakes, okay? So let's get into it. So I've got spelt flakes in here. I've got my, uh, my milk that I've made out of Brazil nuts, walnuts, uh, dates, sea moss, and uh, pumpkin seeds, yeah? Uh, so from there, we'll go, we'll start with the spelt flakes. The reason why I'm using spelt flakes is one of the original grains. If you watch some of my videos before, I use a lot of spelt. Uh, it's one of the ancient grains. It's got no, no, no um, starch in it. And as you all know, starch kills melanin. It's a melanin destroyer. Next thing I'm gonna put in there is chia seeds. Um, so yeah, about a tablespoon of chia seeds. There we go. Hemp seeds, shelled, obviously. Don't put non-shelled ones because uh, you'll be struggling. So these are, are shelled hemp seeds. Lastly, but not, not last, the walnuts. Where I've, I've crushed my walnuts and I'm gonna put in there. So the reason why I'm putting walnuts in there is for texture. Um, the reason why I'm putting uh, chia seeds in there, that's brain food, walnut is brain food. What do walnuts look like? Walnuts look like your brain. Next, I'm gonna add my homemade milk. Um, another thing that I've got in there is um, maca root powder. Uh, that's mixed in, in there with my, with my walnuts, my Brazil nuts, um, pumpkin seeds and dates. And then I've used my shungite water. Um, those of you that are uh, subscribed to my channel, you know that I do not drink normal tap water or bottled water bought, that's store bought. I only use distilled water um, or filtered water, reverse osmosis filtered water. And then I uh, put it in shungite and then I let it sit for about 12 to 24 hours. So the idea of overnight oats is obviously you don't cook them. You just literally soak them in your, in your homemade milk, whatever it is, and then you leave them to soak overnight and then they'll be good to eat the next day. Make sure you put loads and loads of moisture in there. Don't, don't, don't put a little bit of a thing. Make sure it's literally um, almost drowning. So by the time you get to um, the next morning or the next day, uh, most of the moisture will be gone. Um, your uh, spelt flakes will not be dry and you'll be able to enjoy it and you will not have dry mouth while eating it because you've put enough in there to uh, actually soak everything. Okay, so to finish off, I'm gonna garnish it with a slightly thicker version of my milk. So in here, again, Brazil nuts, dates, maca root, pumpkin seeds. So, in there, so this is a more concentrated version, slightly thicker, a bit more uh, sweet. Some chia seeds on top, which are going to soak up all the moisture from there. And when you come to eat it, it'll have swollen up. 
So, there you have it. Overnight spelt flakes. Trust me, this is what you need to be eating for optimal health and for you to feel amazing. If you're looking to lose weight, put up muscle mass, if you're just looking to improve your health and well-being, this is how you need to be eating. Alright, till the next one. Thank you very much for stopping by. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Ciao.